Solus vlog number 10. Hello everyone. Um, this is a little bit of an update video. Basically, um, as you can tell from the title, um, I'm getting surgery done tomorrow, um, July 31st, 2013. Um, and so that's interesting. Basically, um, I'm getting my Achilles tendons lengthened, um, because they are very tight, right? I normally am very conscious about um, showing people my feet, but um, you guys are you guys are the lucky ones. I will um, I will show the horrid beauty that is the foot. Right. So here we have my my heel, right? And this is the farthest that I can bring my foot up. Um, I believe it's supposed to be like in like a kind of right angle basically, but um, because the tendon is so tight here, I believe this is supposed to be like a stretchy little, little, little string, but this is like a th very thick rope right here. Um, they're going to go in and they're going to like make cuts all through here and like lengthen it and make, let me able to uh, bring my foot up or whatever because like that's my natural resting position there. I'm not sure if that's b good or bad. Um, basically, um, I walk on my tiptoes. Um, I believe that there's a, basically I've got some neurological problems in my brain and all that, and I believe that there's some sort of correlation between that and my predisposition to walk on my tiptoes. And so, doing that all my life or whatever has tightened the heel cords so much that um. I literally cannot put my feet down right now. Like, uh, I guess you could say that I'm probably pretty bad at arguments because, uh, I always let the other fellow in because I can't put my foot down. Um, but uh, that'll be interesting. And, um, I'm it's not just going to be smooth sailing or whatever. Um, I was going to get it done like two years ago, but I, I sort of chickened out or whatever. Um, but like, uh, recently, recently it's um come to my attention again because um it's like it does, it does like for the most part it doesn't really give you give you too much problems um what I'm really not not good at is um staircases especially staircases with no banister um they are my worst enemy I would say um Plus, like, just, like, in public or whatever, like, I don't really notice that I do it, really, like, like it's kind of, like, discouraging that, like, because when I'm wearing shoes or whatever, oftentimes I can put my heel down further because of, like, I guess, like, there's the nature of, like, the heel of the shoes, and so I think oftentimes that I'm, like, walking normally, but, um, then people, like, point it out and then I just feel really bad, um, and, um, once it happens or whatever, I'm gonna be... For the next two months, I believe, I'm going to be in casts, and I, I will be able to walk um, in the casts, but um, I might not be able to walk um, at first, like it might be a couple like, from what I've read about people that like have like had this done, like it, some people like took like a week or two to actually be able to like really stand or whatever, because of, because of it. So that'll be interesting. And, um, there's also, like, a, a chance that, sadly, I would, like, tighten up again at later on down in life, like, if it really is, like, um, subconscious or whatever. Because I remember, um, I remember, like, being, like, ten years old or something. And, like, I, I definitely remember, like, seeing pictures of myself when I was 10 years old or whatever. And I was definitely w was able to, like, put my feet down. And um, he, I do remember even even then, like, people, like, putting an outlook or whatever, like, eh, while you're walking like that. So, if it really is, like, a subconscious thing or whatever, like, it might just be something that cycles over and over again. Um, they might have, uh, I might be doing um, physical therapy um, with it or whatever to, like, sort of train myself to um 
be able to walk better or whatever. But um, hopefully, I guess hopefully it all goes well. Um, I should be able. I think like the surgery is gonna be like really early in the morning, and I should be able to um, like come home the same day. So there should still be like a vlog or whatever, maybe like showing off the casts and all that, and um. I'd imagine this probably won't affect too much about my videos, um, might be a few days or whatever before I can record, before I get like, out of the, out of, out of pain or whatever, but um, that'll be interesting. Like, I actually, like, this probably might, might say like a lot about me, that like, because I don't like feet, I think feet are kind of weird, I think that they are just strange. Like, very, very strange. Um, and one of my biggest fears about this like, isn't like, oh, what's the chance that something might go wrong or whatever, but there's, I just, it's just the concept, like, the idea of, like, people messing with my feet. <laughs> it kind of worries me. Um, like, I remember, because, like, normally with, with the, when this happens, um, you go through, uh, like, you, you try to do, first you just try to do physical therapy, and, um, and if that's, but, um, I think about two years ago or whatever, we tried to do physical therapy, and the lady, like, she, she, she walked me, she, uh, watched me walk around, she, like, messed around with my feet, which is all weird, and, uh, and then she just, like, straight up said, yeah, you're too far gone. Not, there's not, probably not, nothing we can do for you. And, um, the other option was to, uh, possibly do some sort of Botox, where they, like, put, like, an injection into the heel or something to, um, put some stuff in there to, that'll lengthen it, but apparently I would be too far gone, too far gone for that as well. Um, so that was a no-go. So, then, not, so now we're here, um, but I, I, I don't like feet. I don't, I don't. Like, I almost would consider, like, cause I actually get really embarrassed when, when I, if I am without socks in, in a public place. Like, um, I, I would almost go, go to, go to say that I consider, like, feet as, like, a private part of some kind. Um, and it's to the point where I almost feel that, like, people that like aren't wearing socks and stuff like that, I almost feel as if they know, I, as if like they're trying deliberately to to anger me or something. Like I guess like it's in the in the same way of like, I guess when some people see me or whatever, they they often assume that because of my hair or whatever that I'm trying that this is like some sort of fashion statement and that I'm trying to like be rebellious or whatever. Like in the in the same vain, I guess I'm not very proud of myself for it, but when I see people without without socks on, I, I, I think of that they're they're like deliberately trying to like make people think that they're like unsanitary I I don't even know. I don't they're just weird. I just oh, I don't I don't like feet. I don't like them. But um hopefully that goes well and um I'll I'll keep you guys updated. Um this is going to be, I want to say this might be like the second time that I've gone on under anesthesia. Um, I had, I believe um, when I was like eight years old or whatever, um, around then, basically, basically because of like, I, I do have like neurological problems, I have to like get like an MRI done every six months, and um, I think it started when I was about like eight years old or so, and um, I think like my first MRI, I couldn't, I couldn't do it awake or whatever, so they had to put me to sleep. But um, this is gonna be like the second time that that happens, um, which I'm quite. Of all the things that I guess like could go wrong or whatever, the anesthesia is something that scares me because like you hear all the 
other cases of like one in every like two thousand people, like uh, they fall asleep or whatever, but they can still feel it. Oh, it's all weird stuff. But on that's that. I'm gonna stop rambling now. Hopefully, I've been insightful or something, and um, hopefully it all goes well. So until that, until then, um, Saul's vlog. See you tomorrow.